Oh god. <sighs> Come on, winner. Eat her. Ooh, got her. Oh. Oh. Hey, didn't see you there. So just doing a little game in here, but I'm not doing it on this system. Well, okay. I guess I'm on the system, but I'm not using the system itself to run the game. I'm using Shadow, and if you've never heard of it, it's actually kind of cool, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so now we got the game closed. What exactly is going on here? If you're looking at my screen right now, it kind of just looks like a desktop on a desktop, and that's cause it's what it is. If you're not familiar with Shadow, Shadow is a virtual machine service, or so basically you can pay a subscription, either billed annually or monthly, where you have access to a cloud computer where you can do workstation activities and tasks or mostly gaming. So everybody that signs up for a Shadow account is gonna get a GTX 1080 uh, or equivalent. In my case, I'm using a Quattro uh, P5000, which basically the same, works just as well as games as a GTX 1080, uh, a Xeon processor, system memory, all the good stuff you would find in a normal high-end gaming PC, except for you can run it through other stuff that say you don't have a gaming PC. And initially, you know, when, when Shadow reached out and we're like, hey, we want you to check out um, our virtual machine or virtual gaming machine and see what you think, uh, make a video about it. I was a little skeptical because with any virtual machine where you're sending information out to the cloud and it's coming back, and especially in gaming, especially FPSs, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of lag. And I was, you know, that's something that ruins a first person shooter real quickly. And I will say that when I put it on this machine and I started testing like Overwatch, Battlefield, games like that, and I, I'd play it on my computer, then I'd switch over to the Shadow Machine. Um, yes, there is a bit of latency, but it's it's way less than I expected. I was expecting something, you know, noticeable, like damaging, but although, yeah, you can tell, it's really, really minuscule and the game is more than playable and I was very, very surprised. So let's do exactly what I did the first time I jumped into Shadow and I bet you guys are all wondering now. Let's just see exactly what we're working with here. So as you've seen right now, I'm in windowed mode. I can hit F or Windows key, Alt and F to go full screen. And then we're just gonna go to uh, Task Manager on my Shadow PC here and see exactly what we got going on here. So my CPU, we have a Xeon E52678V3 at 2.5 gigahertz, not the highest clock speeds, as you see, we have a we have four cores, eight threads, or probably eight cores, eight threads, because it's, you know, I believe a Xeon E5 2678 is a more than an eight core processor. But let's let's just let's just do some Google search in here. So there we go, E5 2678 V3 specs, 12 cores, 24 threads. So yeah, we're sharing some uh, cores and threads here with another VM, which is not a big deal for gaming. Uh, it's more important that we all have our own GPU, which we do here. You can see mine is an NVIDIA Quadro P5000, which is a workstation GPU. But like I said, uh, when it comes to gaming, this thing does just as good as a GTX 1080. And every user that signs up for Shadow will have um, their own GPU. So you, yeah, you'll be sharing some, some CPU cores between other users, but everybody's going to have their own GPU, which is the really the big thing. 12 gigs of memory, uh, internet speed, all normal stuff. So the next thing, of course, I had to check out was their internet speed because that's one of the reasons they're able to have such low latency is because they got some good internet on their end. Mine is uh, subpar to say, say the least. It's still all right, but wait till you see this stuff. And look at that, we got gig internet, which would be great. I wish I had gig internet here, but I do not. I have 100 meg the most. But what really surprised me is, look at that, we almost got 100 megs up, which would be great for uploading videos. Uh, unfortunately, Shadow can't help me out there when I upload videos, but this is kind of just an idea on how they're able to keep their latency, latency so low. They got really, really fast internet. New big deal. So yeah, the specs are good, the internet's fast, but you might be sitting there thinking, why would you game on a virtual machine when you're sitting right next to a gaming PC? I mean, it's right there, just use that one. And yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. It was a good, it's good for testing, you know, because I can run it on this machine, feel it, see how it runs, uh, then run it on the VM and kind of just compare it. And it did a great job, but it's not what the coolest part of Shadow is. Once if you don't have a slightly outdated, awesome gaming machine. What if you have something like this? Huh? Then what? So this is an HP uh, Pavilion, I think is how they say it. This is 
Not a game PC. If we're gonna be honest, this is kind of a trash panda. I mean, it's it's a computer. Let's just say that it does what computers do. Even I mean, the wireless card inside's broken, so we're using this little guy. But you wouldn't call this, by any stretch of the imaginations, a gaming PC. But the cool part is, is with the shadow thing, uh, it becomes one, and that is probably the coolest part of the shadow experience. We'll get this turned on, it might take a minute. I don't even know if it has an SSD in it. We'll get her up and running and we'll check out how shadow runs on something like this. Okay, so please excuse the lack of screen capture. This thing doesn't have a lot of resources to work with. We'll just check it out just so you can see what's going on here. I hope you can see it on the camera, but I can see our core we're working with. It's an i7-4510U, which is a two gigahertz. And I don't even, I think it's only a two core. Yes, yeah, two core, four thread CPU. Mm, not the best. We got six gigs of memory and internal graphics only. So the classic Intel HD graphics family, no, no GPU, no nothing. So there's, you know, this thing is far from being able to game anything, but up here in the corner, you can see, look at all the mess of icons my wife's got going on here. But up in the corner here, we got this shadow icon and you simply just download it off their website on any PC you want to use and you click open and it opens right into your virtual machine with all the stuff you've had on every other computer you use it on and you're just ready to go right out of the box which is pretty awesome. Now it should be said though for the best experience you want to always be plugged in if possible you can run this off of 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, but they do not recommend like you see now that I'm on 2.4 that's not recommended so if you want the best experience if you have to go Wi-Fi Make sure you're on a five gigahertz network. Um, I've tried it on 2.4, it's possible. You're not gonna have as uh, good of a situation on 2.4 as you are on five. I played five all down, all the time. Didn't notice too much of a difference between that and my wire connection, but I have a pretty good router and you know wireless network at my house. Your, your mileage may vary. So let's get logged in here and we'll see what is up and how it performs on this HP Pavilion with its Beats Audio speakers. Turn those up, but the only thing it's got going for it. There you go. So you can see we're logged on, we're right back where we left off on uh, my computer, right there at the speed test. Go full screen. And I mean, the, the latency is so impressive for a virtual machine, it's mind blowing. So we'll jump in a quick play here. And you can see it, I mean, this is running just as well as it did on my custom water cooled gaming computer. And look at that. Game in progress, immediate loss. Love the record for that one, you know. Nothing I like better than popping in a game getting immediate loss. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at him go. Just getting everybody. No. No, we won't. Uh, I told you. Thought maybe you'd get a headshot at the end there. No, just look at all those medals. Beautiful. Okay, hopefully this one is not a game in progress. We'll pick somebody that takes a little bit of aim and some uh, skill here. So let's go with Ash. As you probably know, uh, Winston all day, every day, no difference between this and my uh, computer. But you know, we'll try somebody that actually takes a little bit of skill for aiming and see what we got going on there. So I don't know if you can see up in the corner there, we're sitting at 130, 125 FPS. I think if I need to go check here real quick, I probably still have it's set up like it was running on my gaming computer. Yeah, so we're at 2560 by 1440, which this screen is not, so there's no sense in doing all that when we don't have to. So we'll set it to 1080. Give us some better frames. There we go. Now we got some better FPS. And, you know, with higher FPS in Overwatch, you get lower latency. And this is, I mean, this is good. I'm so surprised at how well you can run gaming, you know, nowadays on a virtual machine. It is mind-blowing. Except for I just suck. So that is pretty awesome. You can basically turn any computer, even one that was never meant to be a gaming computer, into one, which I thought was pretty awesome. But um, it should be noticed that uh, you might not always get the best results. So if you remember this, if you remember this computer from uh, the liquid metal video, still works. And I was getting ready to put shadow on this one, give it a shot. And we really didn't have that much luck with this guy. So this thing was made in 2011. It's got a 555M in it for a GPU and a really, really old like i7 process if I remember right. And just the hardware along with the wireless card, it just wasn't up to par. I could get logged in, but I had a huge discrepancy with the video versus the sound. So the sound was right on. Everything sounded right. 
uh, no latency, no lag, but the video quality was um, pretty much unplayable. There was a lot of lag in the video and I think it just comes down to the hardware. I did get a hold of Shadow themselves. We tried to sort it out, but what we think it was is that the system is just too old. I mean, there's minimum requirements to run the Shadow software and this thing just doesn't flip the bill. So yeah, you can't really revive something this old, this beat up, but if you do have a newer PC that has newer hardware, it's just not meant for gaming with Shadow, you can make it game, which I think is awesome. But that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is you can run it on your phone, which I think is next level. So this is my Galaxy S10 Plus, and yes, there is a Shadow app, and you can run literally any game that you have on your Shadow virtual machine, you can run it on your computer, and from what I, my experience using it on my S10 here, it's just as good as it is on this, and it is on that, which is mind blowing. And you don't have to do it with like goofy on-screen phone buttons. If you got an S10 Plus, you can set it up like a little tiny mini gaming system and it is absolutely awesome. Let me show you, let me show you how it works because I, I think it'll blow your mind. So out of all the things Shadow can do, this is by far the most fun I've had in messing around with it. Um, I'm using an S10 Plus, I haven't really tried it with any other phone, I assume it'll work just about the same with all other new Samsung devices, not really sure about iPhone. Other than that, you're going to need the standard Type-C to regular USB adapter that comes in the box. And you need a USB hub to turn that one signal into multiple so you can run your keyboard and your mouse, the standard things you carry with you at all times with your phone. And then I also get this little 3D printed stand because I think it makes the, the phone sit cooler. It makes it look like a little tiny mini gaming PC. And that's what we're gonna set up. So let's, let me show you how it works here. So I'm using a screen recorder on my phone here because without it, you won't be able to see anything. But basically you got the Shadow app. You just touch it and just like that, you sign in just like you would on any other you know, device and you're kind of got this little desktop going on. Uh, unfortunately, touch, touching does work. There's no like keyboard that pops up. I guess you could probably get there. You could toggle a virtual keyboard. But it is a bit clunky, although it is usable, I guess, if you want to do some searching for some reason on a shadow machine through your phone. But what's really cool is you plug in this adapter and then you plug in the hub. So here we are in the shadow desktop and it looks just like everything else. So let's fire up a game and see how it does gaming. So we are gonna try some Battlefield 5 on my phone here. So now we're in Battlefield 5 on my phone. So mouse, keyboard, everything's hooked up. And the experience is literally the same as it is on my desktop or on that laptop. It feels the same. Everything's obviously very small though, but for the most part, it feels the same. Let's just see if we can do something. Got him. Oh, reload. I was healing. I would have got him. How was this taking a minute? Get wrecked. For some reason, whenever I hit spacebar, it says English US. I don't know how to, wonder how to fix that, but I will. I will say the small screen does make it a bit more challenging as it's very hard to see people, but it is playable and quite awesome to do this on a phone. Get wrecked. It, was, uh, it wasn't ideal, but I got him. Oh, these guys don't even see us coming. We're sneaking very loudly. Wrecked. Oh, okay. Where's his buddy go? Where's his buddy go? Oh, he's too far away. Oh, dude, I was going to get him. Stole my kill. Oh, blah, blah. Anyway, so as you can see, Shadow is more than just a virtual machine that you can run on a computer. It's something you can use to game on, say you have a PC that's not a gaming computer, but you really want to game, but you don't want to build one, well, Shadow can help you out. Or if you have an old gaming PC, obviously not as old as my Alienware, it can revitalize it, helping you game on newer titles at good FPSs and not having to struggle on your old hardware, as long as it's supported by Shadow, obviously. But the best part, at least for me, is that you can run any game you can run on PC on your smartphone and obviously on the go, as long as you got a good Wi-Fi signal and you can carry this stuff with you, you can pretty much game anywhere. And I think that is literally awesome.
Also, if you sign up for Shadow and use my code Major Hardware, which I'll leave down in the description below, you're gonna get yourself 10 pounds off of subscription. So check it out. Use the promo code Major Hardware down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.